Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in modern science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding count student number in departments using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Twitter interviews over the past couple of years. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below if you want to check it out. Also, if you do not have Litco Premium subscription, do not worry. I'm going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can copy it into something called Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given a table called student with four different columns, student ID, student name, gender and department ID and these being their data types. Student ID is the primary key column with unique values. For this table, department ID is a foreign key. So basically we can use this department ID column to merge on the second table that we are given. Each row of this table indicates the name of a student, their gender and the ID of their department. Okay. Second table department, two columns, department ID, department name, department ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID and the name of a department. We are asked to write a solution to report the respective department name and the number of students majoring in each department for all departments in the department table, even ones with no current students, right? Why this line is important for us? Because it will tell you which table to keep on the left while performing the left join, right? Return the result table ordered by student number in descending order. So number of students in each department in descending order. In case of a tie, order them by department name alphabetically. Let's go through this example, right? So we have three different departments and department table, one, two, and three. And let's count the number of students in each of these. So engineering is department ID one. So there are two people in engineering department. Then two department ID two is science one student and department ID three. There is no student, right? So the maximum is engineering student numbers two science one law zero. That is what you have in the output. So basically, you know, using this line, we can get to know that, okay, we need to perform a merge because obviously the information is segregated into two different tables. So we need to perform a merge, but which table to keep on the left, the department table, because if you keep this student table on the left and do a left join, so we're only going to end up with engineering and science department, right? Because there is no input for, you know, law here, department ID three is not here. So obviously after, even after performing a join, you are not going, going to get that department name. So what we are doing is let's store this in a, you know, data frame called DF where we are performing a merge. So pandas dot merge on the left, we are keeping the department table because the question says for every department in the department table, irrespective of whether that information or that department is in the student table or not. So department and then the student table how we are performing a join using the department id since the name of the column is same in both of these tables we can simply go ahead and do on department id and how we are going to perform this join left right left join let me go ahead and return this data frame df right let's see what do we have here right now okay so if you look at it our output so we have all the departments all the three departments but since this law is not present in the student table so we have null populated for each of the columns that are coming from student table okay so once we have this then we need to count basically right so how many people or students in engineering department science department law department right so what we can do is we can go ahead and create a column let's call it whatever let's call it student number for our e -save what we are doing in that column is basically if your student id is not null right you assign that value as one right if it is null you assign that value as zero and then you can group by the department name and sum those ones and zeros right so that is going to give you what the count of number of people in each department so what i mean by that is so let's create a column let's say student number right student number and what i'm saying is let's use np dot where so basically this is a great way where you can you know go row by row test a condition and then you know assign certain values if that condition is true if not assign another set of values right so np dot where what we need to check the student id right so df 
student id right student id dot is null right dot is null is equal to equal to true so if this is null then you assign the value as zero right so you assign the value as zero if it is not null then you assign the value as one right let me go ahead and return this data frame let's see what do we have here right now right okay so now if we look at our output right let me drag it on the left okay so now you have you know wherever your student id is null so in the student number is assigned zeros and if it is not null it is assigned one now just look at it right so if you group by the department name and take this column and sum this so engineering it is going to come out at one plus one two science one law zero right so you are going to get the count of the students so let's do that right so what we are going to do is basically uh okay so let's uh create uh you know you know let's do output right a data frame called output where what we are doing is df dot group by right we are grouping by the department name right let's let me just drag it here so that it's easier for us right uh wait yeah dot group by the department name right department name because we need that in our output right we need that in our output since we need that in our output we need to have that as a column so as index is equal to false you can also do reset index let's do as index is equal to false here then let's take the student number column right take the student number column and what we are basically going to do we perform a sum right we perform a sum and let me return the output part right let me return the output part let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now our output as you know all the things that are in the expected output but it is not sorted this question also says that we need to sort several stuff right so the question says okay ordered by student number in descending order in case of a tie order them by department name alphabetically right so what do we need to do is basically go ahead and do sort values right sort values and then by so list of columns so firstly you need to do student number right student number and if there is a tie then by department name right and we need to also specify whether in ascending or descending manner right so ascending is equal to initially so student number in descending manner right so ascending is equal to false and if there is a tie then alphabetically so which basically means ascending is equal to true okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly merge the information and the way we need to merge is the hint is already given in the question itself so we use that hint to you know specify which table to keep on the left side of performing a left join then what we did was you know use the student id to say that okay wherever your student id is null after performing a left join that means that that department does not have any student in it right so we use that to assign zeros and ones and then use the those zeros and ones to basically perform a count using sum right and at the end what we did was we, we sorted values as required by the question so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video